Hey guys, what's up? It's your screw here, and I haven't made a video in a while um, because I was actually on vacation for the last uh, week or so, and thus I haven't really been doing any Pokemon Go related things, to be honest. I haven't really played in a while as well. Um, as you might be able to see, I'm still level 30. Um, you probably can't, because I covered it up. Ha, ah, get destroyed. Anyhow, um, I really haven't made a video though, because there isn't, ha there hasn't really been any need to. Um, FGL Pro and Fake GPS Go have actually worked tremendously. Um, for the last few months, and uh, we've actually had no problems at all. I don't know a single person who's actually got banned um, for the reasons of using FGL Pro or Fake GPS Go. So today, I'm just going to be showing the new guys. Um, so if you if you already use these apps, I mean, just follow along. I guess if if you don't know, um, if you don't know um, the exact way to actually use these apps, just follow along the video. But mainly, this is for the new people who are trying to spoof still and can't figure it out. So one of the things you want to know um, before actually spoofing is that not every single person can spoof now i'll be going over a few some some of the device requirements i can't speak for some reason um to actually spoof in pokemon go so the number one requirement is you must be above 5.2 or equal to 5.2 and this is the android version i'm referring to not your device version or whatever um and the reason for this is because in developer options if you're not above 5.2, you won't be able to select a mock application, which doesn't allow you to actually spoof. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to select FGL Pro or Fake GPS Go as your mock application, and you won't be able to spoof. Um, the second uh, limitation to this is if your Google Play Services factory version is above 12.6.85. Now, 12.6.85 is the magical number because that is the number of the Google Play Services version that you can actually spoof on, the last one, the most updated version that you can spoof on. Um, everything after that will give you like an error 12 or just won't teleport you to the location that you think you are at. Um, and it's also, of course, bannable, which is unfortunate. Um, so the only way to actually spoof in Pokemon Go is if you have a phone that can downgrade either below 12.6.85 or to 12.6.85. Um, I highly recommend testing this out before actually like going ham and just be like, dude, you're screwed. Why can't I spoof, dude? Hello? Like, I've been, I've literally followed every single thing in your video, but my Android security version is October 18th, and I can't downgrade past 12.8.76. 12 12 what am I supposed to do? Um, yeah, I highly recommend realizing that you can't actually spoof, and unfortunately, you'll have to get a new phone. Or you can, of course, you can root the phone. I'm um, referring to my massively disliked previous video, which was insane, by the way. It was actually kind of hilarious how the dislike ratio had, like, one to four. Anyhow... Um, moving along, so those are the two limitations to spoofing. Actually, um, the device version can't be below 5.2, or can't be yeah can't be below 5.2, and um, that you must be able to downgrade to 12.6.85. Because if you can't downgrade to 12.6.85, you won't be able to um, you won't be able to spoof without Pokemon Go detecting that you're using a third party app, which is annoying um, because Android's cracking down. Anyway. Um, Okay, so we're going to get into the, the two apps that I use um, sometimes. I mean, I use FGL Pro most of the time. I use Fake GFS Go when I'm just kind of bored with FGL Pro and just want to mix things up a bit. I mean, they both work perfectly fine. Um, I don't know a single person who's had, has, who's had any problems with them that I know of, as in, like, directly gotten banned because they use a third-party app. So if, as long as you do this safely, um, I can't guarantee, but there's a really, really low chance that you'll actually have any consequences regarding your account. So, FGL Pro. Now... I'll show you guys where it is. It's just it's just over here. There it is. FGL Pro. Oh, we did it. Look an ad. Look an ad. Nice. Um, you just download it from the Google Play Store. Really simple. Just type in FGL Pro. Download it. Now, um, one of the things I like to do is I like to tweak the settings before actually going in. So uh, secure mocking, you want that on. Mocking method, I put at 1 for some reason. Uh, test all the mocking methods before actually telling me that didn't work because, you know, for some reason... Most people don't do that, and then they just get pissed. And then I tell them to change their version, and they're like, oh, oh shit, it worked. Anyhow, auto fix mock location, you can have this on or off. It doesn't really matter. Um, some people find auto fix off better, some people find it on better. So test it out. If it doesn't work one way, try the other way. If it doesn't work the other way, try the other way. Indirect mocking, you want that off. Um, I don't remember why. There's probably a specific reason for this. Just keep it off, don't need it. Joystick, obviously, you want that on. And then gaming security settings. Um, I actually have a, a bunch of these on. The reason I have these on is because um, what this does is also simulates your altitude, which is pretty insane because um, like, I assume one of the ways they actually ban accounts off of Pokemon Go is if they if they look at your altitude and you're walking in a straight... You're walking at the same altitude wherever you go, 
in like a really hilly place, they'll just be like, yeah, this guy's obviously spoofing because there's no possible way he's literally walking on a flat surface when he's going up a hill, supposedly, in, in the place he's spoofing at. So I highly recommend actually keeping all of those options on. To basically just copy my setup. Um, if you copy my setup, you'll be completely fine. So that's for FGL Pro. Now, you may be wondering, okay, if FGL Pro doesn't work for me, what, what other one am I supposed to use? Now, there's, I, I know this is top three apps. Um, it's actually top two, really. I mean, if like it's it's top three because there's fake GPS Go and then there's fake GPS uh, joystick, which is kind of kind of weird. Um, so we're gonna go to fake GPS free. Of course, the other the other app is the um, is the what's the one with the joystick. I mean, they they both work perfectly fine for me. Um, the joystick one is kind of better because of course you have a joystick. But then if you want to buy an app for the joystick, why not just FGL, why not just use FGL Pro, right? So okay, so accept and whatever. So the first thing it's telling me to do is enable mock locations. So, I mean, I already have done that, so, okay. Can I just go to settings straight without actually doing anything? Okay. So, obviously, like, it's really useful here. It says Google Play Service version, um, which is really, uh, which is really uh, good when trying to downgrade it, because you can never, like, if Google Play Services updates on you, boom, you already know, like, instantly, which is really, really good. No root mode, okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't think you want any of these, really. I mean, the thing is, with this, with this, with this application... Um, once you actually get all the settings correct and you enable mock locations and everything, it just automatically sets all the settings for your phone, which is really good. Um, and that means you don't actually have to tweak anything. But it says uh, requires mock locations and okay, so no root mode. Obviously, you want this one. Um, it says Android. Yeah. Um, this is the this is the one that you want to tick. Uh, make sure that you tick this one before spoofing in Pokemon Go. Um, and uh, yeah, now so I've also gotten some questions where people say, "Oh, I've used these two apps, but..." For some reason, every time I open the application um, and I try to open Pokemon Go afterwards, I get an unable to authenticate authenticate error, which is kind of frustrating. So the the advice I have for this is actually to open Pokemon Go and then open the spoof app, um, which is something I do sometimes, but not really. I usually open just just to open the spoof app and then just go straight to Pokemon Go. But for some people, it doesn't work. So I highly recommend actually just opening Pokemon Go, making sure you load into the game, um, and then doing it. If it still doesn't work, of course, just clear cache, clear data, reinstall, do whatever you gotta do. Just maybe just turn your phone off, turn it back on. It doesn't matter. One of them is bound to work. And uh, yeah, those are basically um, the two applications that I would use. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Like, they still work for me. Like, people are, people are always going, like, oh, dude, we're actually gonna get banned. It's doomed. Can I spoof to an event? Is it safe? Like, all the events are safe, dude. The only reason people get banned is because they stream about it live and for 600 viewers. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what this video was for. Um, I didn't have a purpose in mind, really. But before I leave, I want to actually go over my sponsor. Uh, let's just let's let's just make this really uh, let's make this let's make this very very awkward. So we're gonna go to Google. I'm actually going to Google this. www dot buy Pokemon Go accounts. Uh, wait, buy Pokemon. Let's go accounts dot com. Nice. Very like you, did you like that transition? I did as well. If you need a Pokemon Go account, this is the place to get it, guys. And trust me, this place is pretty good. They're the ones who actually gave me my account, so I definitely think it's worth it. A level thirty four account for one hundred and twenty euros. I think personally, in my opinion, that's worth the time and effort that you have to actually do are used to actually get to that point. So I think that's pretty worth it. And considering they can actually come with a bunch of like extra stuff, that's pretty insane. Like think about it. Look look at this. You see the picture over there? That's a Groudon, Kyogre, Shiny Espeon, and Shiny Moltres right there, just waiting for you. Sure, they might not have this in every single account, but the chances are they're gonna have at least one or de one or two decent Pokemon. So I de definitely recommend that if you need to buy an account, come here and get it. Also, I'd like to say thank you for 7,000 subscribers because I don't think I actually made a video talking about it. And I'll be get doing an account giveaway. So it's like, I think it's like a level 20 account or something. Um, I'll be giving it away because uh, just to thank you guys, just to give something back to the community, really. And um, because people have been pressuring me to do so. And we're also reaching 3,000 members on Discord. So I'll be giving the account away once I reach 3,000 members on Discord. And the only, the way to actually enter into this um, thing is to be subscribed, like the video, and comment down below that you want this, uh, you want the account just by saying, I don't know, what should we say? Let's, uh, okay, 
we'll make it so that uh, if you can only get this reward if you put the, if you type the words hit or miss because of the ironic TikTok memes, you know that shit's good as fuck. Anyway, aside from that, thank you for watching the video. It's been a whole waste of your ten minutes of time, and I applaud you for actually making it to uh, to this point. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys maybe Tuesday. Who knows? And even though I know you're not the one, I'm gonna miss you, Dave.